welcome to Fuse Food. I'm Sophia, I'm going to be your chef again today and this episode we're cooking winter warmers. This episode we're going to be cooking a tomato gnocchi with mozzarella. It's a really simple, easy and warm Italian dish. It's great for winter. So we're going to begin by cutting up some garlic. So we're just going to cut one clove of garlic. You want to cut this really finely so that it just mixes into the oil. So once you finish with the garlic, you want to grab some olive oil and you want about a tablespoon in a frying pan. And just whisk that around like so. Now, once you've got that in there, you want to put the pan on about a medium heat and that's just gonna fry the garlic really nicely. So let's get that in there now. Just give the garlic a stir because you want it to be very aromatic and as soon as you can start to smell it, that's time to put in a can of tomatoes, which we're gonna do now. So grab a can, open it up, and that's all you need is one can of tomatoes. I've got chopped tomatoes there and I'm just pouring them in the pan. And once they're all in, just give that a gentle stir so that the oil and the tomatoes and the garlic all mix in together. So, we're leaving the sauce to reduce and it has reduced a little now and you start to see it go a little silky because the oil mixes in with the tomatoes. And whilst that's still cooking, we're gonna mix some basil in there. So I've got fresh basil leaves because the dry stuff that you get in a jar just doesn't do it. You want some fresh basil leaves and I'm going to use about seven. You don't have to, you know, if you're not a big basil fan, then I don't know what's wrong with you, but it's good to use a lot of basil. Really gives a fragrant flavour to the tomatoes. And we're going to julienne the basil, which means that you wrap all the leaves like so, and then roll it up. And then we're just going to julienne that by cutting across. And that's julienne basil. So bring that over to the pan here and let's just sprinkle it in. A really good motion is to move the sauce around with a spoon in an eight shape and that way it all moves around in the middle and from the sides and it evenly cooks so you don't get some raw tomato on the side that's not cooked through. Especially good for tomato sauces because you do get lumps that can be a bit harder than others. So you want it to mix through and all cook really evenly and nice. So I'm going to put some more basil in it because I think it could use it. Like I said, I'm a basil fanatic. So I'm not going to julienne this time. I'm going to show you an alternative method. You can just whip the basil if you don't want to bath about. And this is good because it does let a lot of natural oils in the basil. You can feel it in your fingers and you can smell it. And that's bubbling really nicely now, so all the excess water in the tomatoes is starting to evaporate out the sauce. It's going to get a lot thicker. You can see how shiny it's becoming. That's just what we want. So, while that's bubbling away, we're going to season the sauce. Um, again, it's such a simple sauce, you just want really simple seasonings. I'm going to use some black pepper. Um, just pop some of that in now. Now it depends how much black pepper you want. I like a lot of black pepper because I think it has a really great flavour. If you don't like it too spicy, just put in a few twists or a pinch, it's up to you. Give it a good stir around. Now I'd go for salt next but I'm actually going to wait with the salt and go for chilli. And I'm going to tell you why in a second. So just a pinch of chilli flakes. Again, if you like a lot of heat, then go to town. If you don't like a lot of heat, then maybe avoid the chilli flakes altogether and just go for a really simple tomato sauce. Just stir it through. And before we add the salt, I have another trick ingredient to show you. So the trick ingredient is creme fraiche. It's not as bad as double cream, so we're not being unhealthy by doing this. It's actually fairly light. And what it's going to do is just really thicken the sauce and it's going to make it quite sweet and nice. So I'd use about half of a tub, and you can get this so cheap, this cost me just 50p. Pour that in. Just 
like so. That's about all you need. You see how thick it is? And you just want that to melt into the sauce. Stir it right and you can see the colour starting to change now. It goes from like a really rich red to kind of a pale orange colour. And it does cool the sauce down a little bit, so you just want to give it a second to heat up. Now, while that's heating, we're going to put on the gnocchi. So for the gnocchi, just grab a pan, and I've got some boiling water here. I've already boiled it in a kettle. It's just super quick. And pour it three quarters of the way full in the pan. And then to this, we're just going to add some olive oil, just a little bit and a pinch of salt. What the salt does is it heats the water up faster. And what the oil does is it stops the gnocchi from sticking together. So grab the gnocchi and I'm gonna use this whole packet. One packet cost me less than a pound and it probably feeds about two to three people. Um, but then you can just refrigerate it and maybe have it for lunch. So just put the gnocchi in like that and do watch it because gnocchi are little balls of hard potato and flour and they do tend to splash back so you don't want to burn yourself. So that's the gnocchi now in boiling water and it's going to take about three minutes, it's that quick. So it's a super quick and easy dish. Uh, in the meantime we're going to salt the sauce and there's a reason that we waited for the sauce to reduce a little bit because if you salt it before and all the water reduces out of it, then it's going to be overpoweringly salty. If you salt it now, once it's reduced and it's the thickness that you want it to be, then you can salt it to your taste. So here's a tip on how to know whether the gnocchi's done. Um, basically, gnocchi's so light that it starts to float to the top, like you can see here in the pan, and that's how you know that it's ready to drain. And they're just all bobbing up there, and it's ready to go. So turn the heat off, and let's drain the gnocchi. Just drain the gnocchi. And it goes quite sticky, so immediately, as soon as it's drained, get it back in the pan, and let's bring it back over to the sauce. And this is our sauce, it's looking mighty fine. Pour the gnocchi back into it here, like so. There we have it, and then you just want to stir the gnocchi into the sauce. Really coat the gnocchi. So our gnocchi is all stirred into the sauce there, it's looking gorgeous and creamy. And what we want to do now is just turn the oven on, I'm using a fan oven and I'm going to put it at 200. All it needs is five minutes to heat up. And what we're going to do is take a dish, I have a little baking dish here, um, you can use a bigger one if you're going to serve more than one person. And just spoon one portion of the gnocchi into the dish. And make sure that you get some of the sauce in there as well so that it doesn't dry out too much with just potato. Like so. We want to fill it about three, of, three thirds of the way full. So now we've spooned the gnocchi into this dish, I'm going to chop some mozzarella. And you actually only need about half this mozzarella and just slice it through like that and then once you've cut it into rounds like so just slice the mozzarella a little thinner and the reason for this is that we can sprinkle it over the top of the gnocchi rather than slab it over and what happens then is it melts it becomes too gooey and you can't chew it very well so this is much better take a handful of the mozzarella bring it over to the dish and just sprinkle it on top of the gnocchi like so. Make sure that you evenly coat it as well. And that's going to melt really nicely. So really quickly season the dish. Just a sprinkle of pepper on top. You can put some salt on top if you like, but I'm going to leave it au naturel. I'm just going to rip some more basil leaves off this pan and tear it up. Sprinkle it on top and then pop your lid on and into the oven that goes. 
So your oven's been on for about 10 minutes now. Just pop it on the top shelf and leave it in there for five minutes. And the mozzarella is going to melt nicely. So now the gnocchi's been cooking in the oven for five minutes. It's going to pull it out. And it's ready to serve. Just pop it on a plate. Look how delicious that is. So that's it, we've finished. Our gnocchi is ready. And now it's time for the taste test. Really good. It's definitely a winter warmer. It's really chewy and soft and nice, so by all means make it at home and let us know what you think on all our social media accounts at Fuse Food TV. Hashtag Fuse Food Fridays. Thanks guys.